If you have a family history, uh, typically a first degree relative. And that is a mother, a brother. A, a mom, sister. dad, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles are second degree. Grandparents would be second degree. Uh, if you have a first degree relative, you should start 10 years before they were diagnosed with either a polyp or a cancer. So if they were diagnosed under the age of 55, then you should start screening before 55. Okay. And what if someone's unsure about a family history? Is this something we should be asking our relatives or if someone's adopted? Is it, what, what might you suggest for them? So, yes, I would ask your, you know, the members of your family, have they had their colonoscopies or have they had colorectal cancer screening? To have when what did they find? Did they have polyps? Did they have a cancer so that you be you are aware and you can then implant or influence or impact your own screening? Okay. Now, if you're adopted, those that's a challenging situation just because you don't know. So, the, typically would fall into the general guidelines of starting at age 50, 45. I I guess I want to emphasize again for those who haven't been screened, what are symptoms that they should be aware of? Well, I think the, the most important aspect out of all of this is that 75% of patients who develop colorectal cancer don't have an identifiable uh, family history and don't have symptoms. So that, um, you know, so that's where the importance of screening at an age appropriate time. Now, if you do develop symptoms and those are, that is bleeding uh, in your, associated with bowel movements, uh, abdominal pain, unexplained weight loss, uh, a change in your bowel habits that's sort of more consistent than, you know, if you go on vacation and you overeat and you're constipated, that's, you know, things that are explainable. But if you have a consistent change in your bowel habits, then those are all reasons that you should get screening or, you know, get examined 